Welcome to Bloomdal Medical. You are about to see an instruction film. Around the world, we protect consumers and professionals against health risks associated with piercing and jewellery. We do this with products and methods that have been developed and tested from medical aspects and knowledge. Bloomdal is designed and manufactured in Sweden which means that we have full control over every production step and all materials used. All our production takes place in modern hygienic production premises according to the same routines that apply for implants and other sterile hospital articles. We are certified according to an international medical device quality control system and are regularly controlled by a notified body. In the USA, we are registered with the FDA. All this so that we can guarantee that Bloomdahl is a safe way to look good every day. Make sure the person you're about to pierce has reached the legal minimum age limit. If not, a parent's consent is required. When piercing children, a parent must always be present. Ask the client to indicate where on the nose she wishes to be pierced. The intended use of Bloomdahl Medical No-Touch Nose Piercing is for piercing of the lower part of the wing of the nose. Hand the client a soft disposable tissue. Ask the client to blow her nose and then thoroughly clean the inside of the nostril where the piercing will be done. Adjust the height so that you have a comfortable working position. Show the client the selection display so they can choose a style of skin-friendly nose piercing jewellery. These are made from carefully selected titanium of pure medical quality. Take off any rings bracelets or watch you may be wearing. Wash your hands thoroughly with liquid soap and clean running water. Dry your hands with a disposable paper towel. Should the client's hair risk getting in the way of the piercing, use the hair clip to pull it back from the piercing area. Use a soft disposable tissue to remove any makeup and grease from the client's wing of the nose. Check that the skin on the wing of the nose looks healthy. Should you notice any wounds or visible skin lesions, do not continue with the piercing procedure. Hand the client a soft disposable tissue so that she can wipe away any tears which may follow after piercing the nose. In consultation with the client, mark the desired location of the piercing with a Bloomdahl piercing skin marker. The ideal position is usually in the crease line formed just above the lower part of the wing of the nose. You will find the crease line by asking the client to take a deep breath through the nose. Ask the client to approve the marking. If the client is not entirely pleased with the positioning, the two of you should decide whether piercing should be placed in relation to the existing marking. For slightly thicker nose wings, use Bloomdahl Extra Long Nose Piercing Studs, called Long. In order to decide which length to use, stand behind the client and look into the nostril using a mirror. Consider the following when deciding on the length of the nose piercing stud. If the nose piercing stud is too short, there will not be enough space for the mucous membrane to swell after piercing without encapsulating the tip. If the nose piercing stud is too long, the tip will irritate the septum between the nostrils. Use a Bloomdahl Jumbo Cotton Bud to clean the inside of the nostril. Tear off the top of the packaging and soak the cotton bud with antiseptic solution containing no alcohol. Ask the client to insert the cotton bud into the nostril until it is level with the marking. Leave it in the nostril. 
the client has made her choice. Take out the style the client has chosen. Check that you have taken the correct style. Fill in the aftercare instructions with today's date, followed by the date and time for a revisit. Tear off the aftercare instructions and give it to the client so that she can read through the terms and conditions. Fill in the client journal. You will find the sterilisation lot number and the article number on the cassette packaging. Check the expiry date. Expired cassettes should be discarded. Indicate on the picture which side of the nose you intend to pierce. Ask the client to fill in their data and then to sign. By signing, the client accepts the terms and conditions and confirms that she has received written aftercare instructions. The client journal is your record of all nose piercings carried out. Now you can start the actual nose piercing procedure. Disinfect your hands using a hand disinfectant containing at least 70% alcohol. Allow your hands to air dry. Due to the aseptic features of Bloomdahl Medical No-Touch Nose Piercing, there is normally no need to wear disposable gloves. However, if national or local regulations specify that you should wear disposable gloves, or if you simply prefer to wear gloves, now is a good time to put them on. Nose piercing requires the use of an instrument mini, marked for mini studs only. Hold the instrument by its handle and cock the mechanism. Hold the instrument in your thumb grip with two fingers around the handle, two fingers loosely around the clamping pin, and your thumb straight up behind the trigger. Tell the client to listen for the sound the instrument makes. Squeeze the clamping pin all the way to the bottom position and press the trigger straight down. When they hear it, the piercing is completed and the nose piercing stud is in place. Open a Bloomdahl pre-piercing swab. With the cotton bud still in the nostril, press the alcohol swab against the outside of the nose for at least 20 seconds. Do not rub. Afterwards, dispose of the alcohol swab and cotton bud. Cock the instrument, holding it by its handle. Open the package containing a sterile disposable cassette. Remove the cassette from the packaging and put it on the instrument. Make sure to hold the instrument by its handle. Remove the safety cover and place it within reach. Hold the instrument correctly. Check that you can open and close the cassette by squeezing and releasing the clamping pin. Ask the client to sit straight and to look forward. Then, ask the client to lean our head slightly forward. Stand closely straight in front of the client. When piercing the client's right nostril, place your right hand firmly against the back of the client's head. Hold the instrument horizontally in your left hand and at a right angle relative to the wing of the nose. When piercing the client's left nostril, place your left hand firmly against the back of the client's head and hold the instrument horizontally in your right hand and at a right angle relative to the wing of the nose. Insert the nose holder into the nostril until it is level with the marking. Then move it gently towards the inside of the wing of the nose. Aim the tip of the nose piercing stud at the marking and, in one single distinct and coordinated motion, move the instrument forwards, squeeze the clamping pin all the way to the bottom position and tilt the instrument by lifting your arm. When the clamping pin has been squeezed all the way to the bottom position, 
the instrument should be held in a vertical position. If you're not satisfied with the positioning, or if the nose holder has started to slide out of the nostril, open the cassette and start again. With the cassette fully closed, you now have a firm grip of the wing of the nose. Keep your hands still. Use your thumb to press the trigger on the instrument straight down. Hold for three seconds. Lift your thumb from the trigger. Open the cassette by slowly releasing the clamping pin. At the same time, bring the instrument upwards so the nose holder remains in contact with the inside of the wing of the nose. Keep the instrument in a vertical position while you move it outwards and away from the client's nose. Advise the client not to touch the nose. Allow the client to wipe away any tears that may have appeared during the piercing procedure. Put the safety cover back on the used cassette. Make sure the jewellery part sits close to the outside of the nose. Use the mirror to check that the olive-shaped tip is fully visible inside the nostril. Cock the instrument and remove the cassette. Discard the cassette in a waste bin fitted with a plastic bag. If you have used disposable gloves, discard them as well. Cleanse your hands. This will also indicate that the nose piercing procedure is now completed. Show the happy client the result. Remind the client that it is now their responsibility to take care of the new piercing. During the healing period, wash the new piercing on the outside of the nose twice a day. Use liquid soap when showering and washing hair. Additional cleansing is done using Bloomdahl piercing aftercare cleansing swabs. They contain saline solution and are gentle on the skin. These swabs make it possible for the client to clean between the jewellery part and the nose and around the piercing. After about four weeks, the client can change to a new piece of nose jewellery. However, it takes up to a whole year before the nose piercing has completely healed. During this time, it is important to keep the nose piercing clean, dry and airy. Also, the risk for developing a contact allergy is at its greatest. In the aftercare instructions, the client is advised to use Bloomdahl Skin Friendly Nose Jewellery. Bloomdahl Skin Friendly Jewellery and Nose Jewellery are truly kind to the skin. Developed in consultation with skin specialists and made of titanium of pure medical quality. Bloomdahl is a safer way to look good every day. Bloomdahl Skin Friendly Nose Jewellery with jewellery booklet in a gift pouch piercing aftercare cleansing swabs and aftercare instructions. A happy, satisfied client with everything she needs for a successful healing. Here follows some useful advice. Since the entire front part of the instrument has been replaced by a sterile disposable cassette, there is no need to sterilize or disinfect the instrument. However, the instrument must at all times be kept clean. Regularly wipe the instrument with a disinfectant containing at least 70% alcohol. For example, Bloomdahl pre-piercing swabs. Bloomdahl makes nose piercings simple. At the Bloomdahl training courses, you will learn more about the medical, practical and commercial aspects of nose piercing and become a certified Bloomdahl nose piercer. When practicing on your own, practice with empty cassettes and on colleagues or friends. Thank you for watching. We hope that you now feel confident and excited about offering your clients nose piercing with the Bloomdahl Medical No Touch Nose Piercing System. 
To learn more about Bloomdahl, we welcome you to our website on bloomdahl.com. You have just watched an international instruction film for Bloomdahl Medical No Touch Nose Piercing. National and local rules and regulations can differ slightly from this film. It is your responsibility to find out what applies for you. For more advice, please contact your Bloomdahl sales representative.